If you assumed that the roads are now safer because more people are off the roads and working from home, you would be wrong. Michigan State Police released data that shows your drive is more dangerous. For one thing, people are driving faster. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live with a look at this data and what is uh, exactly going on here, Kim? Well, Michigan State Police released their data and on the one hand, they did say that serious injuries are down out on our roads in accidents, but at the same time, fatalities have increased. They're not exactly certain why. What we do know is that there are far too many people in our state grieving loved ones who have died in car accidents. 33-year-old Juana Harlan was driving on a Saturday afternoon with three of her children at Chalmers and Seymour on Detroit's east side when a speeding car slammed into them. Her children survived. Juana lost her life. Her sister says she leaves behind seven children who will never forget the loss of someone who lived for being their mom. She loved them and that she was a caring mom. Michigan State Police say it has been an extraordinarily deadly year on the roads. Taking a look at the numbers as of Tuesday, here in Michigan this year, 730 people have lost their lives in traffic crashes. That is a staggering 58 more lives lost than this time last year. And you got to take into effect that from March to about May, we're all under a stay at home order. Why is this happening? Lieutenant Michael Shaw says it's possible people think they can get away with traffic crimes because they believe police are less likely to pull them over during a pandemic. He says troopers are still pulling people over. We're seeing one car crashes where people are driving too fast. For some reason, they decide not to wear their seatbelt. They're following too closely. Uh, they're getting angry out on there for no reason. In the case of the crash that killed Juana Harlan, Police say two teens driving a stolen Dodge Challenger took off at a high rate of speed when police tried to stop them for a traffic violation. They then hit her. Each crash is unique, but many could be prevented if people made better choices. To get behind the wheel and start speeding or to even just do things that is reckless. We have to be accountable and held accountable for our actions and, and think of the, the hurt and pain that people endure and such tragedies. Again, her sister left behind seven children who now are missing their mom. Michigan State Police say they have seen an increase in people driving at extreme speeds. We're talking more than 100 miles an hour. They're giving out tickets. They're also warning you if you're one of the drivers who's following the laws, keep all of this in mind and drive defensively. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you. Yeah, stay safe, stay focused. Yes, get off your phone. Yeah. All right.